بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. So today we're going to discuss the last characteristic. It's very simple today, but as usual, get a quick recap for these words into our mind. Inshallah. So before you go ahead, you guys go over it with me. So what do we have at the top? The kalima. Kalima. And how many times kalima are they? Three. Three, which are? Ism, fail, and harp. Ism, fail, and harp. Can you in fail? How many? How many have you done so far? Types of fail. Four types. Which four? Yes, so two. Madi and Okay. Okay. That, 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 so that, that, that whole, the same way we develop, we've expanded our Isam. As you progress in Sarf, your fail will also expand to seven. Okay? We have seven we done. So we've got four in Isam, versus we've over seven different categorizations. But that will develop later. We're not going to tackle that at the moment. So Isam fail, half. And Isam, what have we done so far in Isam? The definite indefinite, which is that's one characteristic. Is definite ma'am. indefinite, which is ma'am. good. Second gender. is gender, which is mudakkar mu'annas, and the third was, was um, the Num- number, number, uh, wahid tasniya and jama. Wahid tasniya and jama, and in jama, what did you have? You had the jama salim, jama salim, and and the uh, jama salim mukassar, mukassar, which is broken. Okay, good. And salim has how many types? Salim has two. So that's how it is here. So kalima is some fail harf. Characteristic number one is ma'rifa al nakira. Number two is mudakkar mu'annas. Number three is wahid tasniya jama'. And in jama' you have salim, mudakkar mu'annas, and you have the mukassar. Now we're going to add the fourth characteristic. The fourth characteristic is very, very detailed, but the very the first level, we're going to give you a very brief part about it, which will make it very easy, which will get us by phenomenon. The fourth characteristic we discussed today is called a'rab. Okay, what does a'rab mean? At the end of a verb, not sorry, not a verb, at the end of a noun, what we're discussing now, at the end of a noun, you have a uh, fatha, damma, kasra. Now, this is something, for example, we translated ma'rif and nakira, definite, indefinite. Mudakkar mu'annas, we translated it as what? Masculine, feminine. Wahid tasniya, jamma, we translated it as what? Singular, dual, and plural. This you can't translate, but people have words for this, but there's no English equivalent of this. Because for example, when I say, let's say for example, I said to you, the boy went to the shop. The boy, it always, the end of boy never changed. The word boy is boy. You don't get any variation of boy. Shop, there's no variation of shop. There's no variation of two. They always remain the same throughout. So I'm not going to translate, I'm going to say Arabic is something to do with Arabic. Okay, because in Arabic, however, for example, let's say for example the word with the boy. Boy is walad. But in Arabic you get waladun in certain scenarios. Certain scenarios you get waladan. And certain scenarios you get waladin. So this last letter which changes, this is called what? I'rab. Do you understand? Okay? Walad, so the, the change, so any word, any noun you get, or most nouns you get in Arabic, the ending letter will change. And this is what you call I'rab. It changes from Dhamma to Fatha to Kasra, depending on where it comes in the sentence. And you understand this later as we go along. And this is what is called I'rab. So there are three types of I'rab. Marfu. And how is Marfu expressed? The first one is Marfu. Al-Dhamma. Okay. So for now, when Marfu means that the word has a Dhamma at the end. Or what we call an Udwa Pesh. Al-Dhamma. Okay. Mansu means that the word has what? A Fatha. At the end. And majroor means that the word has what at the end? A kasra. Okay? Now, before we go on, to, before we go on and analyze it in the Quran, I want to point out one very important thing. Look at this word. Well, these three words. These are three different Arabic words. Okay? And all three of them have different meanings. Okay? This is janna, this is jinna, and this is junna. Okay? Now, this is not Arab. Because this is a permanent. The word Jannah is. It's is sta- it, no, the word Jannah stays Jannah. It never. The, the gene, this gene, Fatha, does not change. Yeah. The, what, what does the Arab come on the ta? Jannatun, Jannatin, Jannatan. Jinnatun, Jinnatin, Jinnatan. Jinnatan, Jinnatun, Jinnatin. Now, this word is one separate word. This one, now, because it's Jannah, 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 it can't change that. Jannah means garden or heaven. Jannah. So that, the fatha, the jinn, the noon fatha, that's not Arab. The Arab is what? At the end. Jinnah means madness. 
and Jannah means a shield. You get what I'm saying? A shield. Now you have a shield when you're fighting in war. So Jannah. So now the Arab, what Arab mean? What will what will come on the thigh? That is called Arab. The 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 harakat on the first letter before the the, the letter before the last letter is not Arab. That's harakat. That is to do with uh, dictionary and with the language itself. And the, and the, uh, the last letter change is, is grammatical. So, for example, there's no way you could, you, could, you could know why the word Jannah means... Why is it Jannah? What the, the Arabs use it that way. Why is it Rajulun or not Rijalun or Rujulun? The Arabs say Rajul. Yeah, but, but now, in a sentence, when does Rajulun come? When does Rajulin come? When does Rajulun come? Is a rule for that. You get what I'm saying? So the, the Arabs use the last letter, not with the letters before that. Would that not be like vowels, like uh, e, e. Yes. And it's the English, for example, why is it boy and not by or b or why is it o and not an i or e? Just that the way the English is made. Is made. Do you understand? Why is it girl not girl? Why is it not g-u-r-l? Because that's the way the English speaks. But then, in Arabic, there's one more rule. Now, the end of the letter, that can change. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, so again, you have marfu, mansuban, majur. What's marfu? Dhamma. Dhamma. Mansur. And Majroor, I remember, as I said to you, point out again, we're doing very basic rules to have to introduction to the language. There's much more rules to this, much more detail. But for now, this is all we need to know. Let's do this surah. So let's look at the word Allahul Jalala. So is it Allahul Jalala? Is it Marfu, Mansu, or Majroor? Allahul Jalala. The word Allah. Allah. The Marfu. Why? Dhamma. So it says Marfu. Okay. Ahadun, is it marfu? Mansu or majroor? Marfu. Marfu. Will you say it's mansu because of the, uh, the fatha and the alif? No. Will you say it's uh, on the hamza? Will you say it's mansu because of the ah the ha? No. Because those do not change. The word ahad will always be ahad. But you can have ahadun, ahadin, or ahadan. You understand? Zee. Lovely the dalala dal dal again here is what? Marfu. Marfu. A samad is what? Marfu. Why? Because of the one is what state? What is it? This is called a state. So what state is uh, Kufu 1 in? Kufu 1, uh, it would be Mansub. Mansub, why? Uh, uh, Fatha. Fatha. Ahadun? Marfu. Marfu. Okay. Rabbi? Majroor. Majroor because of Kasra. Falaqi? Majroor. Sharri? Majroor. Majroor. Again, Sharri? Majroor. Ghasiqin? Majroor. Majroor. Sharri again? Majroor. Nafathati? Majroor. Uqadi? And Hasini? Majroor. Surah Falaq. Surah Majroor. Okay. And Nasi? Same thing happened again here. Maliki? Majroor. And Nas? And Nas? Okay. Waswas, Khan Nas, Suduri, and Nas, and Jinnati, and Nas. Okay. Now, this is something we can only. Uh, when this when these things change to mar from Manfu to Mansu to Majroor, this is discussed later on. Okay. This is coming section two. So at the moment now, we've done what? Completed section one. And this is everything we've done so far from before. So, Kalima Isam, characteristic one, characteristic two, number three. And the new one today was what? Arab. Characteristic number four, which is the Arab. Okay? And that is made up of Marfu', Mansub, and Majroor. So the three new ones are Marfu', Mansub, and Majroor. Marfu', when it has a Dhamma, Mansub, when it has a Fatha, and Majroor, when it has a Kasra. So now, it's complete. Fail, you study the, sec the second lesson and harf, discuss that as it comes along in the minute subject. So now we've completed our understanding of, our basic understanding of how yes, ism works. Now obviously now sometimes we get mixed up between characteristics 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you want to remember it, the characteristic 1 is what? Definite, indefinite. Characteristic 2 is what? Gender. 3 is? Number. Number. And 4 is? State. State, we call it Arab. Now, that's definite starts with what? D. Arab starts with? I. I. Number starts with? N. N. And gender starts with? G. How do you remember it? Ding. Ding. <laughs> so if you want to remember it, if you've got the four characteristics, remember ding. But obviously it's the, the, uh, the icons at the end. So it's D, then the G, N, I in order. But it doesn't matter the order. But if you ever get confused about what are the four things that I need to look for in an ism? Ding. Ding. Okay? Definite, indefinite, uh, definite, indefinite, I is for Arab, N is for number, and G is for gender. To help you remember the four characteristics. So whenever you, whenever you see a nine, you want to analyze it, 
Remember the word ding, that will help you memorize it. These are the four things that we need to remember when we analyze a, uh, an ism. Got it? Yep. Make sense? Okay. So now, so before we move on, so I'll be finished section one. But now let's analyze where we stand. What, what are we studying? So we studied what? Kalima. Words, Kalima. And that was made up of what? And Islam went through a whole big table of four characteristics, and then we find that you have all these different words: Ma'rifa, Nakira, Muzakkar, Mu'annas, Wahid, Tasniya, Jama', Jama' Salim, Jama' Kassar, Jama' Salim, Muzakkar, Jama' Salim, Mu'annaf, Marfu', Mansub, and Majru. All of those words we went through to understand what Islam is. Yeah. Fair. And so we're not going to discuss that much in here. The other subject we'll take from there as we need to, and how that will come along as we discuss. Now, why are we discussing all of these words? Why do we, why do we need to know about words to do what? Sentences. Make sentences. And that's what section two is about. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we study all about words so that when we make sentences, we know how to use ism, fail, and harf in sentences. But because fail is, is, is that, that other lesson, harf is very simple and we'll add it in when we need it. But the main thing we need is the ism. That's why we study ism in complete detail. Okay, we study all the aspects. Now we're going to use this ism to form jumla. Yep. Yeah? And that's the end of the first section. Inshallah, then we, we progress on to. The second section we will deal with sentences, inshallah. Next lesson, inshallah. inshallah. Any questions? Um, you know the the, the states. Um, um, do they also is that dhamma kasrata and kasra? Do they also tanmini include? Yes, yes. So, so tanmini includes. So for example, one dhamma or two dhammas. Whether, for example, if you have a rajulu or rajulun, both is marfu. Whether it's one dhamma or two dhammas, it doesn't matter. That's called marfu. Okay. So I just wrote one dhamma, but it includes both. Yes. So Rajulun is marfu, Rajulun, or Rajulu is also marfu. Okay? That one Dhamma or not one Dhamma, so one Dhamma or two Dhamma is to do, is to do with what? Depends on what? Ma'rif and Nakira. The Alif Lam being there or not being there. Okay? Yeah? Any questions apart from that? So if I that's it. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, 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 Alh